So we are at Iron Guild Gym in Tex Austin, Texas, here for the Rogue Invitational. I'm here with three of my clients. We've got Steven, who's one of the best in the world in the standing disabled class. We've got my newest client, Suede, over here, and one of my originals, Alex, at the end. I don't often get a chance to see these guys in person, so it's great to be over. And we're going to have a session today, going to do some log lifting, going to do some deadlifting, and a bit of super yoke. I'm a little bit tired from a long day and traveling, but I'm looking forward to getting stuck in. How are you guys feeling? Great. Yeah, I'm ready to start. Ready for some log lift. Ready to do some big log lift. Yes, sir. He said on the way over he wasn't very motivated. So I thought if we could record it and he knows <laughs> it's going out to hopefully thousands of people, you're going to have to lift something big today. I will. I'll do what I can. Good man. Let's get started. Yeah, Lovely. You have to address the t-shirt situation. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, so we just rang ahead and, you know, thought, why not go for it? Gotta be twinkies. Obviously, got a got good taste in, in clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you've ever played with this. This is uh, Juji Mufu's oh, version cool. of the Rolling Thunder. I thought we could maybe do some for giggles grip stuff at the end. Cool. And then I got a pinch block too, but. Oh. Oh, one's... Alex is gonna like this. No. Nah. <laughs> Not so much. Let me see how much of your hand you can actually get around this. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's. Put your hand up. Wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Alex. Yeah. Oh, this one's going to be good. Nice. <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's a lot more, more width chunky. going on here. But yeah, it's yeah. chunky That's and true. I can't barely do this. So, not the best grip. <laughs> it's a lot of training with them, so I don't have to Good thing I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I can he slip. makes up for in other areas. Well, Steven's actually really good at the oak as well. So... That'll be fun to watch later. You train in pretty specific competitions, Stephen? Uh, no, not right now. Mm -hmm. um, the next one that was, was on my radar was the Arnold's in Ohio next year, but apparently whoever, whatever, I don't know who manages the thing, but something changed and Disabled Strongman hasn't been a part of it for the past two or three years. Mm -hmm. And I was hoping this next year it would be back and it's not. So. That's a shame. The very next thing on my radar is going to Iceland next summer for my honeymoon and uh, trying to lift the Husafell stone. That, that'd be awesome. I might be the first amputee to do it, so that'd be pretty... You're recently engaged as well, aren't you? Recently engaged, yeah. 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 While you're over in the UK. Yeah. I have an important question. Yeah? Who's the cat? You oh can't. my gosh. So, at the comp I recently hosted, um, I was all the proceeds are going to... Uh, client of mine who recently became an APT himself and uh, and so I was telling everybody like you know about sponsorship and about raising support and one of my clients who is named uh, above the knee APT he really wanted to sponsor but he's like you know he's just, he doesn't own a business so he's like I'd like to be a silver level sponsor but I don't like have anything to promote I could send you a picture of my cat and you could just put the cat on a, on a, on a poster so that's my client's cat Yuki <laughs> that's it. That's the whole story. <laughs> that's a brilliant story. <laughs> oh, I was wondering what that was. <laughs> I can use it somewhere, but I don't know where it is. Are you using these plates here? Yeah. This might be my favorite the equipment of the gym is these deep dish plates. <laughs> the traditional old um, York ones. Past week, I felt this like grinding sound, and like when I would step, it, I would feel like a drop, like something was giving way, and I heard this grinding. And I was like, "Oh shit, that sounds expensive." And so <laughs> I'm like walking around, going like, "Oh no, is it just gonna explode on me at any moment?" And I finally sat down, and I'm like digging in here. I'm like, "Is there? What's going on?" And I felt something loose. So I was like, "Oh no!" Like yeah, like yeah, it's broken. There's something loose. And then I pull out this rock <laughs> that had just fallen in there. I was like, oh, okay, that's an easy fix. So every now and then I'll get something stuck in here. I'm like, how'd you get in there? Genuine question, do they have a weight capacity? So like when you're oh. under a heavy yoke, is that as We've not tested it to a genuine so risk? Officially, it has a 300 pound weight capacity. Wow. But I've carried a 700 pound yoke okay. plus my body weight. So uh, I don't think the 
We don't tell the manufacturers. <laughs> or something breaks, we're just like, oh yeah, just I was just walking along and then... <laughs> How many times does it break? Um, it's never catastrophically broken, but I've like, um, like the foot in there is a, is a carbon fiber deal, and over time it'll start to split. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so like I've replaced a few feet in the, the, the vacuum pump. I'll show you like later when I have to inevitably uh, wipe the sweat or drain the sweat from the deal. Um, you'll see how it works, but like as a vacuum pump that sucks air out of the socket to keep it like I could hang upside down from my prosthetic and it's not going to come off. Wow. Um, but uh, that vacuum pump, if I, so I have this that I just fashioned that goes in this gap here so that that, that pump action yeah. doesn't happen when I'm lifting. That keeps that protected. Okay. Right. Quite amazing, really, isn't it? It's, yeah. Yeah, I say when I, when I take it off in a, in a minute, it's just like, it's the most simple, yet just, it, it's crazy. It's like, it's a really simple uh, uh, system, but it just, I'm amazed sometimes that, like, I'll finish a set of something and I'm like, well, that's kind of crazy. Like, it just, just the fact that it, Feels I so think that when he, when he sends his training videos over, like you watch him run with a yoke, <laughs> run faster than many, many fully abled athletes. I just think it was like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's quite incredible to watch. I thought you just used it as a shin for this. <laughs> <laughs> so if I. If I get a hole in this sleeve here, yeah. then it's no longer a vacuum. So I have to, if I bang into this, then I get a hole in it and I'm screwed. So, okay, so that's this goes over the top to make sure nothing okay. pokes a hole in it. I've got two of the same strap, so I'll slightly off. <laughs> I use these on a straight bar. So the bigger base, they're just not the... Uh, yeah. Because with these, I can still grab the bar. I think yours are smaller than mine, though. Oh my! You're bigger. No, no, it's bigger. I bought those for frame and hex bar deadlifts, but I use it on a straight bar. It feels so much better. Granted, it'll mess up your wrist. I use your also, I have really, really big hands. That's for me. <laughs> yeah. Don't like figure eights. <laughs> no, I I always get off balance on the back, so because you can't find the. Line. You know, the bar is lower and further. What's your favorite lift? Depends on the day. Yeah. Um, I was doing a lot of log when he was, and that was starting to get a lot of fun. Um, I like yoke a lot. This would not be enough. When Lars asks your favorite lift, you should say duck work. work. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, is there anybody where that's actually their favorite lift? There's no way <laughs> this guy likes duck work. <laughs> Well, that's, no that's rude. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't stand for that. I, ha I hate duck walk. There's no way this guy likes duck <laughs> I hate power stairs, too. Yeah. It's it just it's an horrible old jam. I feel like there's an event designed to make you look like a dumbass. That's duck walk. Is. No, like nobody looks elegant or like or sexy or smooth when they're doing duck walk. No. No. I'm going to do two reps, strap in, focus on driving hard on your chest up, pulling the brain through the hamstrings. Yes, good. It's all going to go through your back. So when I start up your next block, when we start, it's going to be quite light, focusing on movement. You've got power there. The power is good, but we need to make sure the whole body is moving efficiently. So you'll probably find, you'll be like, the common thing I get from clients is, oh, it's too light. Tell me it's too light in four or five months' time. Okay. Okay. What we need to do is really focus on the movement pattern, get you comfortable with anything. Because okay. at the moment, it doesn't look like you are. No. You can tell you hate deadlifts. I do. <laughs> Look at that. I can tell he hates deadlifts. Okay. Can you put the 
got to get used to pounds. Yeah. <laughs> it's all very peculiar. <laughs> Freedom units. Freedom units. So it's exactly the same as that last pull. Oh, that was really good. For me, oh. there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Would you be offended if I said it's cute? No, I mean, you know, it's got some personality, but uh, it's a called a soft inner liner that goes on first, and this uh, carbon fiber socket here is what my limb goes into. And then about five times a workout at least, you know, I get all this sweat out. So everything starts sliding down. It's not as tight. Especially if I'm about to do something heavy, I want everything to be real stable. This is like kind of a, just a urethane liner to protect my skin. This silicone fabric sleeve goes on, and then it goes over the uh, the seam here where the socket is, creates a seal. And then, oops! Did you grab that blue uh, tool here uh, on the shelf? Thanks. Yeah. And then this this guy here's a vacuum pump, and see how that. Yeah. That's pumping air out from the bottom. Other when I'm in a public gym and I'm doing like this, people think I'm dancing to the music. <laughs> so it is about 20, 30 times. We all did that with you. We see how this is getting really tight here. You can see that. Oh yeah. So now, now it's you know really tight and I can go down here and it's really really stable. That's incredible. And then this keeps this from compressing when I'm going heavy. Oh my god. Okay. pain in the ass. Come on then, good single with this. Is this 450? 455, yeah. Come on. Come on. Yeah, like there's a moment where like, that feels heavy, but it just kept moving. So. It moved fast. <laughs> That's interesting. It's tender. Let's go do a bit of ginger with it, but it's okay. Nice and tight. <laughs> nice. Cool. Oh, hey, you should have seen that on a deadlift bar in July. That was more like... That flew. <laughs> so like a little bit, it looked like it was a struggle the first few inches. Yeah, just that felt better than my last one to be honest. It was really good. Let's see how 220's looking for Alex. Shoot. I mean, I vipered it last week. Uh, no, I vipered it for five at the comp. Nice, easy single. Well, I'm not vipering today. No, no vipering. Yeah. 
Good. Nice. We got two fifty yet. Two fifty. Yeah. Probably think of two seven five something like that. Let's let's see how the two fifty moves. Make sure you use that leg drive. Elbows. It's moving fast. It's got to make sure you. You're so strong in your shoulders and triceps, you sometimes get a bit lazy with your leg drive. You can get more power out of the legs. You've got to remember you're trying to get every single muscle fiber in your body into the movement. Don't, you don't get extra points for muscling weights up. And a lot of guys that are strong in the shoulders, they're kind of mentally, they're, oh, I'm just going to speak person. I want but, to do that. <laughs> the, the goal is to win. It's me. <laughs> and my, my goal was always to win. I didn't care about being the strongest. I wanted to win. That was the ultimate goal. <laughs> Yeah, and you look at you look at Novakov, you look at Lissis, they are not the strongest guys. But they are the best. They're just technicians. <laughs> and that's not just technicians, they're bloody strong. Oh, but yes. their goal is to win. Yeah. Their goal isn't to prove that they're the strongest in something. Yeah, they like, just want to yeah. win the competition. You know, Martins could win this weekend without winning an event. It's, it's titles matter more than yeah, t titles can't ever be taken away. Yeah. I'm actually bored of the records at the moment because there's so many bloody records. Every weekend there seems to be a different record. It's the same height that it would be at any other comp. Right, yeah. I had a. Like it's the exactly here. 56 inches or something like that. And I had, a, uh, I had him do a heavy sandbag um, all the way down, dump it over the yoke, carry the yoke back. And, uh, and so, like, it was interesting seeing people choose whether they wanted a, an easy pick or an easy sandbag yeah. with, the, with the height. Um, but. And I don't have that problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same height no matter what I do. <laughs> Sorry, this is like, you know that bad juju stuff we're talking about? Yeah. Oh, that's he, he needs it the right. So, depending on which way I put this on, will depend on whether you get the lift or not. I'll give you a way. It's just a bad. So you want, you want it facing out or facing in? Oh, I need it in. Giggity. Giggity, giggity, good. Come on, let's go, Alex. Come on. Nice and tight. Come on. Come on, clean, come on. Yes, good. Nice. Good. Whew. So keep me at the moment? Uh, 280. Five pounds off. Yeah, move well. up. No, I'm, I'm convinced you can get PV. I'm not convinced 300 is there. Just today. Yeah. You could hit 290. <laughs> oh, I would be happy with 285. This one with the bench. Well, what do we do? Just 275. 275, that's right. No! It must have never had anybody that told you. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've never seen that happen. Yeah. Wow, sorry. No, <laughs> no, I've, I've been here for a year and no one's ever hit that. <laughs> and then obviously, tight through the midsection. I like to imagine there's like a white line along the floor. And my feet are just by the side of that line, and I'm gliding along the floor rather than stepping. Come on, Smooth. Fly. Yeah, ideally you want it one lower. Do that clean, quick. Nice and tight on the upper back. One ounce. Now drive through fast. There it is. Nice. There you on, go. Come on. Finish it. You adjust, you adjust your hands, which helped on the clean, but then you're in the wrong position to press, and you kind of 
you need to really focus on getting the elbows up a little bit more and squeezed in. Because you could have moved your hands, what happened, the logs sank down a little bit, and then you just ended up trying to fight that prey. You were trying to strip press it in the end. We need to just get better at holding that positioning once you're in your rack, and then practice that dip and drive. You kind of probably would have been better off coming back down rather than trying to fight and just get into a better position. I think you can press that, no problem. Yes. Felt the best I've ever done. Just on the clean alone. The clean was good. You, you kind of adjusted your hands to help the clean, and then you were in the wrong position to, to press. So that was kind of what it was. Got it. It's fast. Nice, right? Good. Uh, 201.9 or 442. Good. Ooh, I don't have lefty keys. Nice. Oh. Three arms lefty. Awesome. Another 10 rounds? What's that? Ooh. Sure. I thought the liquid target was better. It's hot. There we go. Attack the weight, let's do it. We got this. Come on. Big legs. Finish it. That one really thrown off. What's that? I got really thrown off in that one. I think I rushed it. Yeah. Do you like, just like a autopilot, like adjust your grip on the thing? Like, uh... He wasn't adjusting his grip on the light weights. It's only since it's got heavy stuff. I'm really moving his hands quite a bit forward. It's a common thing that a lot of people do with a metal log, but you can't do it with some of the wooden logs. The log that they use at World's Strongest Man, for instance, oh. has these little fixed handles. Uh -huh. So I always try and teach people to hold it in the middle because it has better transition to lots of different logs. But there are certain logs it is easier to move the hands forward to help I them. do ache my hand in the middle. When I pick it up, I just readjust my grip, this, this hand thing. Yeah. Because I feel like I'm losing when you, the... When you readjust, you're going from here to there. See, I've never actually noticed that. Again, it's, it's quite noticeable how much forward you, you bring it. A lot of people do, because it, it does help on the clean, but then you're kind of like, as you press, the log tilts forwards because so of the... Um, keep it centered the whole time. I prefer keeping it centered. There are people that are very, very good at log that do move their hands forward, so I'm not saying it's wrong, but you've got to remember when those, if you think about the putting the hands forwards, when you clean it, you're at the back. Yeah. And what happens, the log will tilt forwards because mm -hmm. it's going to become front heavy. So you've got to really focus on getting it behind you. you ready? Three, two, one, lift. Nice, good. You ready? Three, two, one, go. There you go, there you go. Easy. Nice and smooth. Sit tall, sit tall, sit tall. Good. 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 Here we go. Come on, steady. Sit tall. All the way. No drops. Come on. Steady, steady, steady. Up, up, up. Good. All right. Athlete ready. Yep. Good, sir. Go. Let's go, coach. Come on. Come on. Come on. Eleven four four. That turn was snappy. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you almost stood up with it before you quite grabbed on. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Come on, come on. Good, Alex. Five, three. Good, 
That was one higher for us both. Yeah, that didn't work. Yeah, it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I did y'all's <laughs> high last time, and then y'all went up one. So, uh, set for Alex now. You got it. Oh, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Most improved award goes to Swede. Hello, guys. It's good. Nice. Good stuff. Enjoy that. Thank you for having us down. Oh, yeah. It's good. It's just a um, nice quick workout there. But now it's time for the main event. Yeah, so we're going to go get some barbecue. <laughs> Where are we going, guys? Style Switch Barbecue, just down the street. Okay. Best in town, in my humble opinion. Do you guys agree with Stephen? Well, we'll, so we'll we get a good old debate on. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to need some hay for that one. <laughs> Me and him are a little further south, so we'll take his opinion for you. Okay. Well, I just want some food, so. Mm. <laughs> Thank you for having me down, guys. Great to train with you all. Um, well, deadlift was awesome today. Thank you. It's yeah. looking really good. That's some motivation. Yeah, good yeah. stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go follow all these guys on Instagram. You've got your own YouTube channel as well. Yeah, uh, Cybernetic Strongman on YouTube. Same on Instagram. We'll see you guys next time. Take care.